driving the Cutlass yesterday, test driving it uh, around the block and found out it wasn't shifting out of first gear. I uh, thought maybe the vacuum line to the modulator might be undone, uh, but check that all out. That was all good. So then I suspected the uh, governor, which controls the uh, shifts going up. And what I found was it was real corroded so at some point in time there was water in this transmission even though it does not have it now I pulled the dipstick and it's all pink but uh, there's definitely some corrosion in there so I ended up pulling the uh, the weights off and did that by grinding the dimpled part of the pins out that go through here and then the uh, weight simply came out and then you have the valve that goes in and out so that allows fluid into the valve body where it's supposed to be for an upshift so this thing was stuck like chuck so I took it out and uh, Cleaned it up the best I could, hit it with some scotch Bright, got some oil on there, and now it moves freely. So now I have to go down to the hardware store and get some finishing nails that are close to what these pins are and uh, assemble this thing and put it back in there and see if that corrects the uh, no shift problem from first to second. Okay, just got done rebuilding this governor on this uh, Triple 400 transmission, uh, making sure that the, the valve does what it's supposed to. And what I ended up doing is using some, I think they're 4D finishing nails. These are the uh, pins that came out, so I snipped the ends off of them to get those uh, weights removed so I could pull this governor apart and what had happened is this uh, valve inside here's a another extra one that I have uh, was stuck in the up position and corroded in there so I cleaned it up with uh, scotch bright pad and some I think it was thousand grit sandpaper and got it to go up and down in there uh, without any issue but these, uh, I guess, are really sensitive to any kind of debris getting in there and uh, that valve not being able to open and close like it's supposed to. But anyways, um, got this thing put back together, uh, used those uh, 4D finishing nails and just uh, hit it with a round punch on my uh, anvil and a hammer and then trim the uh, sharp edge off of it and it looks just about factory so and it appears to be working fine so I'm gonna put it in and test it out as you can see the uh, governor cover is off and you can see in there where the uh, output shaft is and the gear that the governor rides or, or meshes into and uh, so you can see the teeth here go into the gear in there and of course there's quite a bit of sludge and corrosion stuff in there which would lead me to believe this had some uh, water in it at one time but the transmission fluid is clear which is strange but uh, the governor was all boogered up it had all kinds of corrosion in it but now that it's working I'm going to put it back in And it should rotate a little bit once you get it in the, the gears. There you go. So I don't know if you saw that. It, it kind of rotates as you seat it in there. And that's how it's supposed to be. Got to clean up the surface a little bit. 
and get the uh, cover put on and take it for a test drive.